I'm going to show you how to cork down the edges of window frames. Um, I've already been doing this one. I've got a bit more filler to put in down here before I finish off with the cork. But I'll just show you some of the edges. That's another one I've been sorting out. I mean, this is pretty rough job. I've cut out some rot. Some uh, wet rot hardener has gone in there. Bit of two pack filler is going over. That's another one I've cut out. That's actually a big one, so I've left that. That's getting. It's had some foam in there. It's going to get a two pack filler over and it's going to get corked. But I'll just show you the process to get to that. This is the edge I'm going to show you where that brick is and I'll just show you closer you can see the rot in the wood it's pretty bad all the way up there's bits it's not as bad as round there but you'll get the idea of how to do it so first of all what I'm going to do is cut it out using a blade you've got to be careful and cut into the rot now it's going to come out quite easy To it. So dig out all that rot. I'll show you that once I've done that. So dug it all out now. Let's have a look up there. And I've cut it back to fresh wood. All the way up. And then once I've cut it all back and got rid of all the loose, I'll give it a sand over with P60. And I've absolutely Gone to town with it, give it a, all the uh, paintwork as well, a good sand over. So what I'm going to do now is put some oil primer all over the wood. I'll show you that. That's the primer I'm using um, and that's for softwood and hardwoods. I've got it ready there. Now, always note the consistency of it. It's quite watery, the, you know, it's quite thin, and that's what you want. Um, it really does soak into the wood, and it stays slightly tacky till the undercoat goes on, and then it dries off nice. Um, right, so I'll show you that going on. So I'm going to coat up all the burr wood, the whole frame and everything. You know. I'll show you that once I've uh, coated it all up. But I'm actually going over the paint as well. Any burr wood, I'm just painting the whole lot with the primer. Because there's been that much work going on. That's all the primer done. Now, it's not even dry yet, which is what I want. And on the brick now, what I'm going to do is seal that with diluted PVA. This is what I'm using. One of the best PVAs I've found, um, like I say, diluted. Just coating the brickwork. And you can let that dry, take about 20 minutes. While that's drying off, I'll go and put some two pack filler on that hole on the other frame. This is what I'm using. That's white, um, so that's one of the fillers, sorry that's the filler and then you, you get the uh, hardener and you add this to this and it goes off really quickly so I'm going to mix a certain amount 
and then I'm going to backfill it but not come to the surface just backfill it and then allow it to dry and then top it off again with some more like I say it dries really fast so you've got to be quick with this stuff that's how much I've put out and you can see the line of uh, hardener there it's like the activator it sets it off and starts a um, catalytic conversion I think um, and hardens it all so I'm going to mix it really quickly and get it in so that's the filler in now just the first fill I say well, I'll allow that to dry sand it back and then give it a second fill allow that to dry light sand and then I'm going to do the cork down the side and uh, I'll show you that cork going in on this one the uh, PVA is dried now so I've run some masking tape up the brick and I'm now ready to foam so I'll show you the foam I'm using that's what I'm using really good stuff mm. There's different makes out there, but it's good stuff. down here um, I was waiting for this filler to dry before I finished it off so I'll show you that now and this is what I'm using brown decorators cork so first of all take a bit of diluted PVA and I'm just going to run it up where I want to do the corking Now I'm just going to leave that five minutes and then you want to run your cork up And then once you've got it like that, what you want to do is wet your hand and allow water to run up it a little bit. And with your finger, you know when you get in there, just smooth it off. See that there? So that's what it's looking like there. And then when you smooth it off. It blends into the brick. I say you've got to have a wet finger. Or thumb, whichever fits. There you go. That's how you get really smooth cork. Let that dry off now. Should wipe off that excess water down there at the bottom. Should finish it off a little bit. There you go, all done. Allow that to dry for 24 hours. And it's ready to paint up to. All the fill is dry now. Uh, nicely it's been sanded. Wetting that side. Taking your cork, you want 
to fill the side. wetting your finger and some water up it and then smooth it out remember to keep your finger wet and allow it to blend into the brick make sure you work it into them corners That's it. So there you have it. That's how you cork up the side of window frames. Foam it first and then cork over the top and allow to dry completely. Just a little bit of sand and cement to put in there.